Neuralink is about to take brain hacking to the next level. Elon Musk's revolutionary startup just got FDA approval to start human trials of their thought-controlled implants. This long-awaited green light sparks a historic new chapter of direct brain-computer links. But will this cybernetic future help or harm humanity? Neuralink is playing with fire in our skulls. If their sci-fi tech succeeds, society will never be the same again. The age of telepathy and Ironhand's superintelligence awaits us, or does it? Stick around to find out if we should embrace or resist this mind-blowing development that could forever alter the human condition. As I believe Neuralink's testing phase will be fascinating yet fraught with controversy. The FDA approval clears the way for Neuralink's first human trial, called the PRIME study. PRIME stands for Precise Robotically Implanted Brain Computer Interface. This fitting acronym highlights how Neuralink's approach differs from past brain computer interfaces. For the first time, an advanced robotic system will be used to implant a device directly into the human brain. So, what exactly will the PRIME study entail? First and foremost, it will evaluate the safety of Neuralink's brain implant technology. Known as the N1 implant, this tiny device features ultra-thin flexible threads that are designed to be threaded into the outer layers of the brain. The study will determine if the N1 can be safely implanted and remain functional within the brain. Beyond safety, the study aims to prove the N1's functionality. Specifically, can the N1 interpret brain signals accurately and enable paralyzed patients to control digital devices? To put the N1 through its paces, Neuralink has enlisted paralyzed volunteers to test controlling a computer cursor and keyboard using brain signals alone. This level of functionality would be life-changing, granting independence to those with limited mobility. But how does the N1 get into the brain in the first place? This is where Neuralink's robot surgeon comes in. Known as the R1, it is the secret weapon that will allow the N1 threads to be implanted with unmatched precision. Imagine a highly advanced sewing machine, and you'll get the idea. To implant the N1, the R1 robot will first drill a small hole in the patient's skull. It will then insert a needle into the brain's motor cortex, the region that controls the intention of movement. With its robotic arm, the R1 will carefully stitch the N1's flexible polymer threads into the outer layers of the cortex. Each thread contains multiple electrodes to maximize signal recording. This process allows the N1 to tap directly into the brain's neural activity, when a paralyzed patient imagines moving, the N1 is able to detect the firing of motor neurons. It relays these intention signals via Bluetooth to a Neuralink app. Powerful algorithms then translate the signals into commands like clicks and cursors to control digital devices. The R1 ensures the N1 is stitched into exactly the right spot to pick up intention signals. Past brain implants relied on imprecise manual placement, leading to inconsistent results. The R1's precision targeting allows for repeatable implantation, setting the stage for more predictable outcomes. Neuralink's robotic implantation system opens the door to a new paradigm in brain-computer interfaces. For patients participating in the prime study, it could be the key to regaining control over their lives after paralysis. The R1 and N1's performance will be closely watched by both regulators and the medical community at large. All eyes are on Neuralink as their revolutionary approach heads into the human testing phase. Additionally, during the study, Patients will attempt to control digital devices using only their brain activity, no movement required. The initial goals are straightforward but revolutionary. Can thoughts alone move a computer cursor and type on a digital keyboard? What do you guys say? Furthermore, by imagining physical movements, patients' brain signals will be picked up by the implanted N1 threads in their motor cortex. Just thinking about reaching out your arm is enough to fire neurons in this region. The N1 converts these intention signals into commands relayed to a Neuralink app. With enough practice, patients can learn to steer a cursor smoothly and type sentences through sheer willpower. This level of control would profoundly impact paralyzed patients' quality of life. Imagine browsing the web, communicating online, or even creative expression through digital art, all without moving a muscle. Neuralink's technology aims to make activities many take for granted accessible again for the paralyzed. But the journey to get there during the prime study is intense. Patients will undergo initial implantation surgery to embed the N1 threads using the R1 robot. This is followed by 18 months of active testing and training with the Neuralink system. Patients must commit to at least two brain-computer interface training sessions per week with Neuralink's research team. That's over 150 sessions to refine performance and control. Additionally, follow-up visits every two months will assess safety and function. The study doesn't end there either. 
After the intensive 18-month period, patients enter five years of long-term monitoring. Checkups every few months allow researchers to continue evaluating N1 safety and performance over time. In total, signing on for the PRIME study is a six-year endeavour. Clearly, this technology still has much to prove. For their first human guinea pigs, Neuralink is targeting an exclusive group. They are specifically recruiting patients with C1-C4 spinal cord injuries, resulting in paraplegia or tetraplegia. Also sought are those with advanced ALS causing complete loss of movement. These populations face the most severe physical limitations, having virtually no ability to interact with or control external electronic devices. By focusing on those with the greatest paralysis, Neuralink aims to prove its technology's potential to restore lost function. Yet Musk sees Neuralink impacting far more than just paralysis in the future. He envisions a world where N1 implants treat all manner of neurological conditions. In his view, Neuralink could one day reverse the impacts of spinal cord injury itself, restoring movement to the paralyzed. Even more speculative, Musk suggests neural implants may combat brain diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and ALS. Despite a lack of scientific evidence, he bets that one day Neuralink's technology could even slow or halt the progression of neurodegeneration. And looking even further ahead, Musk positions neural implants as a way to connect our minds directly to artificial intelligence. He contends devices like the N1 will be crucial for merging with AI, preventing humans from becoming obsolete. But what do you guys say about it? Is Musk's vision feasible or mere fantasy? But on the other hand, when we talk about animal testing, even though it enabled Neuralink to iterate quickly, it also came at a cost. An FDA report revealed over 85% of their animal test subjects experienced adverse effects. Additionally, lack of veterinary care led to some animals suffering significant injuries and even death. Critics argue that Neuralink rushed animal testing, prioritizing speed over ethics. They question if safety is being compromised to reach human trials prematurely. Insiders have accused the company of a cavalier attitude toward animal harm. There are also concerns about long-term risks from neural implants themselves. What unintended effects could arise years after implantation? Could scar tissue or inflammation damage brain regions? Might electrodes lose signal fidelity over time? Past brain implant attempts saw electrodes fail within months or years. The longevity of Neuralink's thin, flexible threads remains unproven. There is much still unknown about the brain's reaction to foreign devices over decades, these risks must be carefully weighed by any potential human test subject. Yet for some paralyzed patients, the potential benefits may outweigh the risks. Neuralink's technology could significantly improve independence and quality of life. That promise fuels hope despite the uncertainties. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.